Hello, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Uh, I'm D.H. Dunn, we're playing Drew Adley, and this is part six. Uh, how'd we get this far? Uh, I wasn't sure we'd make it. So, uh, two things that uh, I've been thinking about from our last session, uh, water and inventory. Uh, I think that last time we made the second uh, uh, water collection station. I mean, that's great. When it rains, we'll get double the water we got before. That's good. Um, I'm thinking that there's better inventory belts that we can make. I thought there was a hint there just a moment ago about that. So I'd like to look at the crafting, really, and let the crafting kind of drive uh, where we're going to go next. Let me just try to get uh, Drew out of the sun here. So his health has taken a dip again. We got him all the way up to almost two bars last time. And it's dropped back down, probably because of his constant thirst. But now we've got three bars of water, which we haven't had this much um, thirst healing, I guess, with him in quite a while. So I do feel like we're making progress. I can see our uh, potato here. Uh, I don't really think we do anything until that grows, but excited to see what that turns into. So let's take a look at the crafting and over here on the uh let's call it the tool row i mean we've got a bow and arrow that we could make that's pretty cool leather not sure yet what we need leather for it's probably a component for other things and then there's some more stuff blanked out here refined spear i do remember that we saw pigs over on um Lutzi island which I've got notes that tell me that Lotsi is to the, um, let's see, that would be the northeast. So we could maybe consider taking a trip back there sometime soon. Hobo stove, meat smoker, plank station, furnace, tanning rack. So there are things down here. This silhouette here particularly tantalizes me. It looks very water focused and water has been such a consistent issue. So if we are able to craft some of these other things, that should level us up to the point where we can maybe make what this is. Uh, what haven't we made on this list? We've made the water stove. We've made the fire. The hobo stove. Now, the hobo stove takes a fire pit and a barrel. No idea where a barrel is. All right, what's your problem? Um, oh, I... I guess it's beeping at me that half our thirst went down while we're chatting. Um, let's see. The meat smoker looks makeable for us. Um, let's go back again. You know, the question is, what does it do? Stick, fire pit. We have to make a second fire. What? What is moving? I saw something through the shadows there. Something moved in the sun. I, I, I would assume it's just a bird. So, you know, none of those particularly entice me. Uh, are we in the... We're not in the UV. Let's move on to this list here. Hook, light hook, container shelf, wood table. Wouldn't mind making a table, but geez, four lashings? That That's a lot of... That's a lot of work there. Plank shelf, plank table, sleeping bag. Hmm. That requires leather. Okay, we're starting to see more things that require leather. This is a bird snare. Now that sounds interesting. All right, I like this idea. A rock, some lashing, and a fish trap. Wait a minute, I like this idea even more. So six sticks, two rocks, and two lashing instead of three. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on our lashing front here? Can we, we have nothing. So let's start looking and, and let's see. What time is it? It is almost 1800. So Drew's going to be going to bed here pretty soon since it's uh, going to get dark. This yucca we've already smashed. We've already smashed that one. I do see a fibrous leaf or two that we can pick up or three or four. Hey, that's a lashing right there. Boy, it gets dark so fast. All right. Um, let's, you know, in the morning we're gonna, we're gonna be right back where we were on, on water. 
All right, we've got, I think, three more fibrous leaves already. So we'll find more in the morning. Let's uh, turn this uh, lantern off. And let's send him to bed. Where is the bed? It's so dark that I lost it. The very first line in Shades of the Sea has stayed unchanged. Uh, Shades of the Sea is the uh, novel that I will be probably releasing next, almost certainly. The very first line has been, A sailor learns to see in the dark. And that has stayed unchanged since the first draft. And uh, Drew needed to see in the dark right there. And there it is. There's the bed. So sleep. And... Day 10, according to uh, the achievement that just popped up. Let's look at that. Day 10. He's dehydrated again. Yes. Fish are friends. Went 10 consecutive days without eating a fish. Hey, that's only because I don't know how to fish, game. Don't congratulate me on my ignorance. Okay, so we start with water. Let's hit the uh, beach. See if uh, a jump. See if our water stations here have uh, collected anything over the night. I don't think they would have. Looks like a big zero. And a big zero. Oh, whoop, nope. All right, what did that get us? A bar. All right, let's put a visual lookout for a coconut here. I think I see one up in that, uh, up there in this taller, majestic palm here. I wonder if palm oil comes from palm trees. It's probably pretty dumb that I don't know. But I'm not sure. I would assume so. I'll probably look it up afterwards and then report back on whether I'm right or wrong. Let's see, let's drop that. I remember I was like 19 when I found out that cucumbers and pickles were the same thing. So, uh, you never know. My wife told me that when we were just boyfriend-girlfriend and did our first grocery shopping together. And she, uh, <laughs> let me, I didn't believe her. <laughs> they don't look anything alike. I didn't, I, I assumed there was some sort of underwater pickle plant that, uh, created the pickle. All right, so we're at not great stats on both food and water. But I'm going to look for a rock and uh, some more fibrous leaves. And we'll look for coconuts while we're at it. Maybe grab a crab. Don't forget about this flare gun and this peepee -pee plant. Hopefully we won't need that peepee -pee plant again. This fish trap could be uh, a nice low, low effort source of food, which is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for food and water to show up without me having to go get it so that Drew can focus on other things. I do see a coconut, so I'm going to go grab that. But man, now we're like, there's like one coconut at a time and we're just waiting on the uh, coconut respawn rate for these trees. Now, can I even get up to this one? You're going to make me climb it. And down we go. Got some rain and snow here today in Maine, so another real slushy day. Not particularly enjoyable. Grab that. Get the knife. We know the routine here. A hit. A hit. Pick it up. Take it out, drink it, drop it on the ground, and we're done. I do see a, a yucca. Now, I think I did this one already. Let's see. I can't tell when they've been depleted or not, because they still have these good-looking leaves on them, but I guess that one is depleted. So let's see. We are looking for, again, uh, we need to make another lashing, and then... Uh, 
uh, two rocks, six sticks. So the six sticks is fairly easy. What's that? Thought I saw some print show up. Yeah. All right. I think this might be all we need on the on the lashing. I hear that beeping just constantly. I, I don't know whether I should be paying attention to it or not. His health isn't going up. We're working on you, Drew. We'll get you there. Okay, uh, here's a good source. Of, here is a stick. Okay, we can, uh... Wow, you can pick up the trunk? I wonder if the trunk will turn into sticks if I hit it enough times. The last one did. There we go. Alright, uh, what do we need now? Just a, a rock. Which has been a surprisingly difficult thing to find lately. Uh... I suppose once you've depleted your island of rocks, there's not a friendly rock tree that deposits more rocks. I think I want this crab. Did you see that? I, I got that guy in one shot. Good job, Drew. He has to comment every single time on that. All right, all we need is a rock. Please don't make me go to another island for, for one rock. Maybe there's a rock in the water. There's another one of those uh, poison uh, things there. You gotta watch out for that. We're learning stuff. Like, uh, on some level, my next playthrough of this game will be very different. Uh, there's a lot of mistakes I made this time that I won't make. Which is, you know, a good thing, but maybe not as interesting. Come here, you. Ah. Uh, oh. Crab. Don't do that. I don't have that much health to play around with. You'd think he'd be used to it by now. Come on, Drew. You can handle it. My kingdom for a rock here. Odds are I've walked by three of them. Okay, I see one. They do they do show up in the in the water. Alright, that's great. Do we have everything we need? Whoops. Um, well, this is interesting. I hadn't uh, wandered into this. Oh, yeah, vehicles. Wood raft base. Oh, this. Wow. Whoa. Look at some of this stuff. All right. So that's a long way away, but we're we going to look into that at some point, assuming Drew lives long enough. Uh, back here to Fish Trap. Six, five of six rocks, one of two. I need another freaking rock. And did my knife break? No. Need one more stick. And horribly, I need another rock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened now? Oh, the crab? Alright. Yeah, our SPF is an issue. I know this is, uh, <laughs> sometimes the episodes are dramatic. Sometimes you're looking for a rock. I could make some rock jokes, like, are you ready to rock? For those about to find a rock. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I just feel like if we get this fish trap going, that's going to be a nice big deal. What's that out there? Is that a rock? Can rocks be this far out? That is nothing. Artwork. I see a sardine. Can I just grab it? Whoa! I can. Where'd it go? Wow. Not enough room in inventory. What am I going to drop? Uh, I don't really want to drop any of these things. All right, well, now I know I can stab sardines to death. Didn't know that before. I think probably I should get a fire going, get him out of the sun for a few minutes, cook up this these crabs, and then we can... Is that a free... Uh, no, empty coconut drink. Uh, 
free up some inventory space. All right, fire pit, kindling. We're gonna have to drop something again, but here I don't mind dropping a lantern. You have two lanterns? Drew, you've got a whole the lantern collection you're carrying around here. Kindling. Do not give me this uh, fuel thing. Oh, you are, aren't you? Wait. Campfire's out of fuel. Okay. Let's craft campfire. Over here. Still beeping. Whoops. Campfire. Craft. Put it in there. Place. Don't give me out of fuel. There we go. There we go. Drop this thing. Okay. I hear ya. Uh, take the meat, not the stick. Why would you cook the stick? Honestly. Okay. Attach. And... Why can't we attach to the stick? It's not that big. But fine. There we go. Now we've got a little inventory space. And, uh, now while those are cooking, look for that rock. And now we need even more sticks. So, maybe we'll chop up that other trunk for some sticks. Alright, let's see what we got. So Drew uh, served aboard the USS Machias uh, during World War II. That ship was torpedoed, um, which is a similar backstory to my grandfather, who was on an oiler in World War II that was torpedoed in the Indian Ocean, just like uh, Drew's ship was. USS Machias is named for Machias, Maine, uh, which is a fairly northeastern uh, area of Maine. Uh, one of the first parts of the country to see the sunrise every day is Machias. It's also uh, a big blueberry. Uh, many of the blueberries that are everywhere in the country come from that region. And uh, the book, if you've ever heard of the book, Blueberries for Sal, that's uh, Robert McCloskey, who also wrote Make Way for Ducklings, uh, is from the Machias area. Very, very nice uh, part of Maine. Oh, I heard a ding. We never got that rock. But our food is done. Yep, they're both done. Okay. So we'll at least eat those up. And let's see. Let's get that. Pick up. Pick up. Let's eat them. All right, let's check. Not great. The water situation continues to be a problem as well. All right, uh, I'm starting to think like we might need to put this, uh, oh, the, the yuccas back. Wow, they come back fast. Uh, we might need to put this uh, quest for a rock on the, on the back burner. Um, as once again, water becomes uh, a situation. I'm starting to think that maybe I need to hit one of these other islands. What time is it? 1400. He'd never get to another island and back. Um, I'm not going to take that out. His situation, uh, you know, I'm going to say it's, it's getting, uh, oh, look at this. Look at the potatoes. That's great. I, I, I feel like his situation is, is tenuous. Uh, I feel like we're starting to make some progress with Drew in, in developing a bit of a, 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 a march, a path towards sustainability. Ugh. But see, then this happens. The rain shows up, and I start to feel better. But it, you, we're very, very dependent on things like this right now. So I think this rain is going to buy us some time because we can always kill crabs we can always go into the the ocean and, and stab some fish like we can sustain 
but water is I don't think the the island is going to grow enough coconuts for us every day all right so we're definitely not going to another island now and in fact uh can't even go in the ocean right now because you can't see and I don't want to step on anything poisonous so I'll tell you what we're going to make one more orbit here hey crab uh, looking for this last rock, I believe. Let's check our recipe. Um, we can pin that. Okay, so we need five out of six. We still need another uh, stick as well. So let's uh, keep an eye out for that. Maybe a tree small tree that we could uh, we may have taken all the small trees down uh, how about this here we go I'm waiting for this knife to die man I called it and you know what sucks about that we need a rock we need a rock to make to make the to make the knife so because you start with the stone tool got that okay then you do, I believe, a stone tool and lashing and a stick makes the refined knife, which now we have. Oh, let's go back to the tree that we were chopping down. But I suppose when you need two rocks and you only have one, you might as well have none. It's got to be a, a, a belt or something that we can make. It's actually nice to be out and not have to worry about the... It's funny, you know, you would think he'd be running for shelter, but it's it's great to be out without worrying about the sun. So, oh, look at this, guys. This is, this is not good. His health is down to the... Almost down to that last bar. You know, it is entirely possible that... Uh, you know, we will have a second run with Drew and just look at this one and say, you know, mistakes were made. We learned some things. Um, I would have to think about what would I do differently. I have to give that some thought. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I've made a ton of mistakes here. Let's see. Um, well, I, why am I carrying this hoe around? I don't need the, I don't need the hoe. I don't think. I do need that lashing. Um, oh, if I need the hoe, maybe I should leave the hoe behind it by the potatoes in case I do need it. But, I'm thinking that we're going to have to leave the island to get the rocks that we need. Which is pretty annoying. But, I can't just have, you know, a half hour of me walking around with, uh, Hold X to clear. I don't think I want to clear it. I'm just going to leave that there. Can I pick the potatoes? Are they not ready? I don't think they're ready. I mean, even for this game, they shouldn't be ready in one day. Is that more fibrous over there? It is. Yes, yes. I know you need to find water. You know what? I think you're going to find it right on the beach. Let's see how much this has given us. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to either head back. I shouldn't head back to one of the islands. Now, come on. Okay. I'm drinking it all. And this does what? Okay. We're reasonably fed. We're reasonably thirst-free. How much inventory space do we have? Not bad. I think what I want to do... <laughs> I appreciate that I change uh, change decisions here. I think I can put this out. Let's not waste the fire. Um, I want to drop all these sticks right here. Whoops, not in the fire. I'm gonna drop the lashing. I'm gonna drop the fibrous leaves. I'm gonna drop the cloth. I'm basically, 
Here's what we're doing. We're going to bed. We are taking nothing but the knife. We're going to go to bed. We're going to get up in the morning. We're going to drink the water that's available. We're going to eat nothing. I suppose quickly get a crab, start a fire, and then see if we can head to one of the other islands and uh, try to get some better supplies. So let's uh, hit the bed. All right, so it is um, 0530. So sunrise will be here in a minute. And um, very, we're actually in a rare instance hungrier than we are thirsty. But we're still gonna come out here. Sun's coming up. What can we get? We can get one. We can get one. Look at that, four. I don't think we've had four. <laughs> Days and days and days. All right, let's uh, find some breakfast. I believe you can also eat the coconuts, but boy, that seems like a waste. They're so important for, for water. So let's... Uh... Pretty, pretty. Poor Drew, how long has he been here? 11 days. I see a crab down there. Did I get him? Yep. These guys don't give much meat. I was going to ask you, Drew, did you find that gross? Because, you know, you like to comment on it. The bat meat. The bat gave us more meat than the uh, the crab did. That was so weird. I just think I just saw the bat on the tree and just like threw the knife out at it. Never expected that you know you could uh, eat the bat. All right. So we are into two days into 2021 at this point. So far, much better than 2022. Sample size is pretty small, but uh, I'm optimistic. There we go. Oh, I think he may not have actually talked about how gross that is. All right. So let's see, let's find our kindling, 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 where are you? I like this little music that they play here. Press to pick up, go here, let's light it up. All right, so a lesson learned is you can extinguish your campfire so to save it so you don't have to keep remaking it. Um, I can't help noticing that did not light. Campfire's out of fuel. Okay, so I guess that's not true. <laughs> or we extinguished it too late. So now we gotta make another campfire. All right, here's our sticks. How many sticks do you need for a campfire? Campfire, four, of course, because I picked up three. You need four. Okay, do, 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 campfire, craft it up. Place. Okay, drop. Apparently I didn't need all those sticks or something. Now get the kindling, kindling, kindling. Uh, Drew's, either Drew's head or mine is starting to get loopy. I think it's mine. I don't think I can blame it on Drew. Let's light it. No, light it. There we go. Why is this not working?
I'm, I'm floored here. Why is this not working? <laughs> like, I'm getting the... Hmm. Okay. Well, I... Maybe our kindling is shot? Wouldn't they tell us that? Have we put one too many campfires on top of other campfires? Let's do this. I think you can break it down with the knife. Yeah, I think there might just be too many campfires in here. Let's pick these six up. Okay, I can't destroy it. Another crafted item depends on it. Okay. So now can I pick the kindling up? Mm, bring the kindling over. Hold the light. Campfire's out of fuel. Hmm. Okay. Well. We'll craft the campfire. Put it there. Meanwhile, he's like starving to death. All right, well, interesting. We'll have to spend some time thinking about why that didn't work. Let's get this uh, meat on. And we'll wait for this to cook. How's he doing? Nah, 0900, I want it to be underway by now. But at least, geez, the water, go with the thirst. Goes so quickly. I need to find something to eat. I'm so weak. Yes. We know, Drew. You spent half your morning getting the fire going. All right, our cooking skill went up. Don't know what that means, but um, it's probably a good thing. I have avoided doing any research on this game. I have not looked up a single thing. I haven't gone to the Reddit. I haven't gone to any FAQs. Uh, the only thing I did was look to see if there was any more in-game uh, tutorial information or a guide or explanations, but I, I really want to figure this game out through the game in real time. I didn't want to spend any time on my own trying to try stuff. Um, I feel like the whole point, particularly of this series, was for me to go into something blind and then, you know, Drew, Drew and I survive or don't based on my limited brain power. So there's probably some obvious things that I haven't figured out. Um, there's probably some, some better strategies that I could be trying. And, you know, this is how you get better at something. You should just keep doing it. Uh, to, let's uh, pick up this meat. And I think that's a good, I'll eat that. Good subject for our little boat trip. I'll eat that. Okay, let's extinguish our fire. Let's get out of here. We will talk on the way. All right, so there's another island a little bit. This is K2 that we're facing right here. There's another island a little bit to the right here, and I'm interested in that island. We haven't been there yet. It doesn't look very far. So let's head over there, and we'll see what we find there. So let's... Wait, paddle, paddle, paddle. Where's the paddle? I did not leave the paddle with the boat. Uh, I can't blame Drew for that one either. That's on me. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't. So, let's grab the paddle. You know, we've done a lot of wandering around this island lately, and uh, I don't remember seeing the paddle. I w okay, there it is. There's good. Any, uh, any more water? No. Didn't think so. Grab the paddle. We got it. Okay, I was a little worried there. So, um... As we head over to this other island here, which I think I'm going to call Broad Peak. Uh, Broad Peak is another one of the uh, 8,000 meter peaks. 
and it is part of the Karakoram, which is a subset of the Himalayas, which are a subset of the Himalayas in Afghanistan, and it's the same mountain chain that uh, K2 was part of. So, seems appropriate. Please don't flip the raft over, because I don't know if we can uh, get it back if we do. Also, please don't step on any purple poison things. All right, let's just get out here. We'll climb in. We will uh, operate. All right, hold X, hold X. It's too shallow. I don't want to deploy the sea anchor. Thank you very much. All right, now let's turn, turn, turn. Now I'm not exactly sure which island I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to pick this one. I'm pretty sure this is this is the one. Actually, though, this one looks closer. Let's go for this. Okay, well, we'll just say this is Broad Peak. So, as I was uh, saying while he was cooking, and I know the watch is just going to keep beeping at us, and, you know, the truth is we can't deal with the problems right now. Um, you know, finding your way through things is is a tricky challenge, and uh, whether you're trying a new game or whether you're trying to write, um, you know, that first draft that you work on, I think probably one of the hardest writing skills I had to master, not in any way suggesting that I've mastered writing skills, but one of the first hurdles, I'll say, is understanding that that first draft is going to be rough. Um, that, And everybody's process is different, I'm sure. But for me, um, I have to get through that first draft and then I can polish it up. And it took quite a while for me to really be comfortable with the fact that there would be placeholders in the first draft, that there would be mistakes in the first draft. I would put things in there that I would then later take out. I've, I've taken, you know, huge 20, 30,000 uh, word sections out of books at times because later I just decided that they didn't fit. And that can be tough. And yet there's, there's a lot of value in failure, but there's also a lot of value in early work, laying a foundation for something. And I think something that holds a lot of writers, uh, starting writers back is the inability to be happy with work that isn't perfect. Uh, to um, be comfortable with understanding that you're going to come back and make it make this good later. You can't make it good if it isn't there. You can't polish something that doesn't exist. And uh, that blank piece of paper uh, or that blank screen is never going to turn into anything. And I think a lot of early writers are so afraid of writing something bad that they never write anything at all. And the truth is, whether you're playing Stranded Deep or, you know, whether you're writing something, uh, whatever you're doing, it's not going to be that good. It's not going to be what you want it to be the first time you do it. You have to keep working at it. And my personal feeling is you'll never get it 100%. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll never get all the way to what's in your head. You also have to learn to understand that, you know, perfect is the enemy of good. And there comes a point where you have to say, you know, what is my time best spent here? Uh, what can I learn from this project? And then, you know, move on from it. So, you know, I like to, I like to joke that none of my books are finished, but they're all done. Ha ha. But the truth is, is that, you know, there's always something else you would want to do. Um, I think we have reached the point where it is too shallow to continue. So let's uh, stop operating. Uh, come on. Game doesn't want to stay in the spot where I can hit the X. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, pull the boat. And hopefully we'll hit some kind of land here. Or a rock. I need to cool down. Yep. All right. We're on it, Drew. Yep. You have... Oh, jeez. He's on that last bar. Could Broad Peak be the last place Drew ever goes? We don't know. Hey. Guess what? 
I found a rock though. So it was all worth it. All right, let's get him out of the sun. Uh, let's get him out of the sun. I mean, come on game. It's clearly very shadowed here. Why does it still have the UV up high? Okay. <laughs> All right, there. Whoop. All right. Okay, so I think this is a wonderful cliffhanger to leave Drew at. It is entirely possible that the next part is our finale. Um, if we, he's got no water. He has virtually no food. His health is on its last bar and seemingly diminishing. Let's see if we can keep him alive next time. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to do everything I can. So um, whatever happens, if the next part with Drew is in fact the last part, then we will move on to uh, uh, we will move on to the long dark, and I probably will do the long dark with wolves on, so that it is a new experience for me as well, because I generally play the long dark without wolves on, and we'll bounce between this and and uh, long dark, and maybe we'll find a different survival game that we can try with Drew. But I'm hopeful. Let's stay optimistic. I think we can find some answers here. Keep Drew alive. you got to take some risks. Take some chances. So uh, that's it for this episode. I appreciate everybody um, surviving along with Drew and uh, listening to my various uh, uh, stories and, and, and musings. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Stay in each other's rope. Take care of each other. And I will see you next time.